hello guys welcome to my channel so today we are going to be drafting a corset pattern here are the measurements you are going to be needing so get familiar with these measurements and i'm going to see you in class soon so there you have it now we're going to go ahead to the drafting of our pattern now you're going to start by marking any point on your pattern paper yes this point is just a reference point you're going to be starting from that point so that point is also my upper bust line now i'm going to start drafting from that point i'm going to place my tip rule on that point which is six inch then i'm going to mark my bust point which is 9.5 i marked my under bust 13.5 then i marked my waistline which was 17 inch then i went ahead to mark the length of my blouse which was 20 inches so now i went ahead to rule those points out sorry i went ahead to rule the points out So guys, the next thing you're going to be doing here is you're going to need a measurement that is called um, the difference between your two breasts. So there's like a space between your breasts if you check it. So that measurement is what we're going to be using soon. So before I did that, I went ahead to label all my points now i'm going to go in with that measurement so i measured mine it was one inch so i divided that by two then i got half inch i went ahead to mark the half inch then i connected the points together to form a straight line so this measurement actually differs in is because mine is one inch doesn't mean yours has to be one inch so you're just going to go ahead to measure it is the difference between two breasts the space in between your breasts so that is that from that point then i'm going to measure my um, bust pan which is also also the difference between two nipples mine was 8.5 so i divided that by two i got 4.23 or so i went ahead to connect the points so the first measurement you need is difference between two breasts then the difference between two nipples that is measurement from one nipple to another sorry then after doing that, you're going to go in with your darts. You're going to go in with your darts from the under bust. I marked one inch on the smaller parts. Then I marked 1.5 inch on the other part. Now I'm going to be marking for my upper bust. I used 0.75 on both sides. That's 0.75. So now the next thing I'm going to be doing is to connect the points together. So I used the straight part of my ruler to connect the point. The next thing you're going to be doing is to also connect the points for your upper bust. But before you do that, you're going to be marking some points. These points, you're going to place your tape rule in that manner. You're going to mark 0.5 upward and 0.5 downward. That is 0 0.5 inch. The reason I'm doing this is because I don't want my nipple side to have any sharp edge on that area. So I'm just going to be going in with my master curve. So I'm going to make sure that my points are aligned. Then I'm going to draw. I'm going to curve it. So can you see the essence of that 
0.5 inch i marked earlier on the first point so you are going to be connecting it in that manner so once you're done doing that we're going to be doing the same thing for the upper bust so the reason we're doing this is uh, you might be wondering we're making a corset why are we um shaping it like a bust here so like there are different ways to draft a corset pattern for this class i'm showing you how to use a bustier pattern to draft the corset this method is very very good and very very easy because it gives your bustier depth like it gives your cup room it doesn't makes your it doesn't make your cup flat so if you use this method you're going to get a full shaped cup that you like so i just went ahead to shape the upper bust the same way i did the under bust area so you're going to make sure the points are lined and you're going to shape it like that so can you see there's no sharp um points my nipple is not forming the nipple side is not forming any sharp so that is it so once you're done doing that you're going to be going in with your measurement so on the upper bust area i used my round bust measurements i divided that by four then i went ahead to add the dart allowance which was 1.5 inch for the waistline i'm going to be doing the same thing my waist measurement by four was 7.5 then i added the dart allowance the dart intake that i took earlier which was 2.5 remember we took one inch on one side then 1.5 on the other side so you're just going to go ahead to add all your dart intake remember i did i've not added any allowance to this pattern no i'm not adding any allowance to this pattern yet i'm going to add my allowance when i want to um, cut on my fabric so just follow the tutorial so now once i done that i went ahead to connect my points together so can you see it's forming the shape already the next thing we need to do now is to shape our neckline so for my neckline i went down two inch from that upper bust area then i'm going to be connecting it so what this curve i'm using is called a master curve so it has different purposes you can use it for different shapes you just have to know your way around it so i'm placing it and i'm shaping it in that form So once I do that, I'm going to shape it to the armhole area as well. Remember, this um, this corset does not have armhole, so you're just going to be shaping it in that way. I think I came down two inch, then I shaped it. So guys, the, as I've said earlier, there are different ways to make a corset. I'm going to be treating some other ways to make a corset on this channel. So just um, stay glued to this channel. Please subscribe. Um, thank you so much. So now once you've, um, once you're done with the neckline, you're going to be shaping the cup. For the cup, for that side i had four inch i think i had 3.5 then for the other side i went ahead to mark four inch for the cup because i don't want the difference to be the same thing so i can know one side from the other side so now for that part i went in like 0.2 inch because i don't want the under both side to be too pointy i want it to have like a sitting i don't know how to put it i want it to relax on that part can you see the way i'm doing it then i'm going to be shaping it up to that point so now 
Um, again, I'm going to be using this master curve. And I'm going to go in and make sure that the points are aligned. So can you see how smooth that looks? So that's just it. Then the other part too, I'm going to just do the same thing. Just going to make sure that the points align. Can you see the way I'm placing my pencil before I went in with the cuff? So that is that for my cup so it looks easy right yes it's very very easy so just go ahead and try us and that is it for the cup now i'm going to okay so that part i'm just showing you you're going to be cutting that part out that is the dart area you're going to be cutting it out we're not done yet i'm going to after this i'm going to be drafting the back pattern then I'm going to show you how to incorporate a bust that into this corset pattern. So why you need a bust that is um, the bust that gives the curve more fullness. Yes, you can go ahead and draft your pattern like this. It is fine. But if you want extra fullness, you need a bust that. So now I just went ahead to um, connect all those points to the back. Then I went in with my bust my bust palm as well at the back for my back that so now i just marked this point out which was 4.25 then i went ahead to mark the dots for the back i used half half inch half inch for the back that so now okay yeah i think i'm just marking my horizontal point here i went ahead to mark all the horizontal points then I connected them together so the next thing you're going to be doing is to mark your dots so for the dots line I, I came in half half inch so now there is um, a calculation here because I want to have a, a bust dot on that front pattern which is one one, one inch that is two inches so like i said before you're just going to connect it to that bust um area like that if you want to understand this bust technique very well you can go ahead and watch my previous video on how to draft a basic pattern it's more explanatory so now i'm just going to go up two inch the two inch that i came in for the bust that's for the front part i'm going to have to remove it from the back because if I don't remove it, then the front and the back will not be equal. So I went ahead to remove it. Then I went ahead to draw my new waistline as well. Because I already came up 2 inch for the length of the back, I have to come up 2 inch for the waistline as well. So I went ahead to cancel the previous waistline and the previous blouse length. Then I marked my new that. I just went ahead to connect it. And I'm almost done guys this is not hard there's no trick to this just follow the steps and you're going to be making a corset in no time so like like I always say nothing good comes easy you have to practice and you know that's just it so now I just went ahead to shape my um, back neckline as well I came down to it from the upper bust then I shaped my back so this depends on however you want your back to be so I just went ahead to shape mine in that form then I'm going to be cutting but before I cut I need more darts for my back so for that back I went in half inch on the waistline because I don't want that part to be bulgy and again, you can go back and watch my basic pattern tutorial. It is more explanatory. So I'm going to be returning that half inch back to the sides. Now for the front part, if you want to snatch your waistline, you're going to be going in half inch on that part. And you're going to be shaping it 
again so that's just it i'm just going to be using my free hand to do that so that is it so guys there's no there's no trick to pattern drafting just follow your instincts and you know there are some Sometimes you just have to sit down and just tell yourself you want to do this, you can do this, yes I can do it. Just tell yourself that and believe me, you're going to be so perfect before you know it. So now for that part, I'm going to be coming out, I'm going to be shaping it out in that form. The reason why I'm doing that is because I'm still going to be holding that bust area. So I want to come out as much as I can so when I hold it, I can still blend my neckline and everything is still going to be okay. You are going to see what I'm saying very soon. So now I'm going ahead to cut my pattern. Oh, I'm sorry the video is long but it's so what it's nothing good comes easy so there it is i'm cutting the darts out so those that's my back pattern i'm just going ahead to label them yeah so now i'm going in to cut the front pattern so now here yeah, that's how to cut it we're going to cut it to cut the darts out guys please subscribe to my channel thank you so much like the video so now um for the bust that you're going to be cutting it in that way you're not going to cut it all the way through so now that's it you're going to close it can you see when i close this so i'm going to be blending that part back can you see it okay, so yeah that's it thank you for watching bye bye Oh, sorry, did I say bye-bye? <laughs> You're going to be cutting out your boy, your cup. <laughs> You're going to label it and you are done.